Hello and welcome to U Plus AI's YouTube channel called Startup Reports. I am Ranga and in this channel, I review products and solutions from startups that are at the intersection of healthcare and artificial intelligence. In this episode, we'll take a look at Niramai, which offers early stage breast cancer detection. So what problem is Niramai tackling? Now, there are 27% of women who are diagnosed with cancer have breast cancer. In India, the sad thing is around 18 lakh women by 2020 will be diagnosed with breast cancer. And even more alarming is that 50 to 60% of those who are diagnosed with breast cancer in India will die within a year. The problem really is early detection because if detected early, the survival rate is very high for breast cancer and it is completely treatable. So for early detection, what we need is a low cost, accurate, easy to use method that works for women of all ages and something that can be deployed in every nook and corner of our country along the length and breadth of it. So what has Nirame built? Now, before we get to what Nirame has built, let's understand what is the current standard of breast cancer detection. The current gold standard is mammography, which is radiation based and uses X-ray to kind of detect if the woman has developed lumps, which may indicate breast cancer. This is the current gold standard. Now what Nirame has built does not use X-ray, but uses thermal images. So the thermal images are captured by a thermal camera and based on these images that are captured, computer vision and especially deep learning is used to understand whether any cancerous lesions or lumps have been detected in the images. So the process works like this. The woman walks into something like a photo studio, need not even be a hospital setting. There is a thermal camera in front of her and she sits down in front of it. And just like photos will be taken in a photo studio, the thermal camera takes images. And it is privacy sensitive, which means the lady does not have to take off her clothes. Once this session is done, in about 15 minutes, a report is generated, which kind of gives a first cut idea of whether the woman needs a follow up with a specialist to understand if there is progression or detection of cancer. So clearly this changes the game with respect to what the current detection methodology of mammography is. So what does this provide? It really provides a report of where these lesions or tumors have been detected. Now Nirama says that this method has been tested on over 4,000 women and it has found a sensitivity of over 90% in clinical trials. Now, the key thing to note is that Nirame claims that this, in some cases, has 27% higher accuracy even than mammography. And note that mammography typically is not recommended for women less than 40 years of age because the detection of small lesions is not something that mammography can do. Nirama's method of using thermal images can detect even small 4 mm lesions. So that's why this solution, or these are the salient points of this solution. So what's my take? What I find interesting is that this is a solution that addresses the core needs of the patient. It's low cost. It is something that is portable. You need a, you know, a thermal camera that can be carried around to different parts of the country. The analysis itself is cloud-based, which means that you don't need any equipment besides the thermal camera at the point of care or at the point of detection. Uh, it is privacy sensitive because the woman just has to, you know, walk into a photo studio like setting. It is not painful, non-invasive, and most of all it's radiation free, right? And so obviously you don't want somebody exposed to radiation um, you know, during their course of detection or treatment. 
The other point is Nirame says that this works for women of all ages, that is even for women under the age of 40. Now that's great, but what we'd really like to know is whether it works equally well with women of different races and ethnicities, ethnicities say Indian women, African American women, European women, and even within India, women from different parts uh, of the country. What the solution opens up is the applicability of computer vision on thermal images to a wide range of possibilities. Now you would have heard during the recent COVID-19 outbreak that thermal imaging was used to understand whether people had congestion in their chest area and this method was typically used in public spaces like airports. So this again this whole technique of using thermal images to detect underlying health conditions and illnesses is really a powerful one and the benefit the key benefit here is also is that this is radiation free and non-invasive so definitely something like this can build out to many more use cases thank you i hope you enjoyed that perspective please like this video on youtube and share it with your friends and colleagues do connect with me, Rangaprasad Sampath, on LinkedIn and follow my online handle UplusAI on Twitter, SoundCloud, and Medium. Bye bye.